preliminary budget, again, comes out after the, the cuts are done. It gets published on the um, website. And now we're in the final round of really getting ready to adopt this. Um, the board um, came in this past week for a special session. We did a workshop session. And we really talked about different ways to get this down. Um, we're taxpayers just like you. Um, the tax rate was just too high. Um, we didn't accept that. And so we brought some uh, very deliberate, difficult cuts to the table to talk about this past week. Um, many of them were not superficial changes. Um, you know, it's not about how many pencils we're going to buy. It's really about how many people we can afford to employ, how big our government is going to, to be, what kind of services we're going to provide. And so those are very, very difficult choices. Um, there are some major cuts on the table. Um, and, but they require structural changes to the way the town does business in order to be able to save money and also provide services at a reasonable cost to taxpayers. I did hear Kelly talk about discussing all these cuts. Discussing them and actually doing them are two totally different things. I mean, to sit here and pacify all of us that you're discussing them doesn't do anything for me as a taxpayer. So from what I've heard from that percentage that's in the paper, you have cut nothing. You're discussing everything. So nothing's been cut. So all the numbers you went through are fictitious unless you actually do something about them. And you gave us no clear answers here that you're cutting anything. And yet the power sits between you five. The board mentioned uh, a number of cuts uh, that they're going to look at. Um, I do support the fact that um, you guys have put you know, a lot of work into putting this budget together trying to pare it down as much as possible. But you did propose uh, about $400,000 in cuts tonight that are possible. Uh, I think you should follow through with every one of those cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as supporting not-for-profits, uh, I think that should be a choice of the taxpayers and not a mandate for taxpayers. Well, I'm, I'm going to suggest that you do all of those 400000 because we need, we need even less than 2%. I've heard a lot of things about you know, what we're going to do here, and mostly is the cuts. And, um, you know, there's nothing about the other side of the equation on increasing the revenues. And there's, there's ways of increasing the revenues without dumping on taxpayer. 